This video is my full tour of York Minster. I even went to the top of the tower. Here is a quick preview. Did it talk to make it? 250 years. We have two tickets for the tower. I lit a candle and made a wish. This was the chapter house. Some creepy looking things. It was really, really big. And can I ask how old you are? I went up 275 steps to the top. It's been in there nearly 900 years. His head's chopped off. His head is chopped off, yeah. Please stay tuned and watch the whole video. We are walking to the Minster. We are nearly here. We are here now. Now we have to get our tickets. It's one of the best cathedrals I've been to. Here's the opening times. How old the building is? Give me a, a number. Old. Just a guess. Yes, yes, number. Very old, like very old. Hmm? 200. Hmm, okay, that's okay. So they finished building it in 1472. How old that is? Can you do a quick head count? 1472. Yep. About 550 years. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. I love asking questions to find out new things. How long did it took to make it? To build it? 250 years. 250 years. In total, yeah. They started in 1220. This is just the current building you see right now. There were previous churches on site before, going back to the Anglo Saxon times. Oh, and yeah. before that, the Romans had a headquarter building that we call the style, we call Basilica building by now. Uh, but it kind of started from there. Well, they kept knocking the old one down and rebuilding it, sort of. Sort of. There are some remaining foundations from previous times but of course re you either reuse the building and give them a different function or you just basically dismantle and use the stone yeah. to build something different. Okay, thank you. That's all right. Can go through the last I knew all of the country flags. Which one's our country? This one. Yeah. Can you see the Italy flag? There. Yeah, well done. Which one's China? The, that one. Yeah. Which one's Spain? Germany. France. We knew them all. We have two tickets for the tower. Yeah, of course. Could I ask how old you are? A. Is that eight? Yeah. Yeah. Um, could you have a look at the information on there for me? Here's the prices. We here. Yes. So you're just in at the entrance at the minute, which is here. Um, the next one is at 12.30, is that okay? Yeah. Oh, for two of you? Yep. Yeah. Perfect, so that's 24.50. Just to make it a little bit easier. Yeah. It's quite a long way up. They 
we go. So that one's your adult ticket. And then like it's uh, the tower. So I'll circle that there. So you just need to show these before you go up. If you meet five minutes before, it's around that right hand corner and there should be a blue sign that says Tower Challenge on it. So okay, thank you. Just there. there thank you. It's massive, isn't it? And this is only part of the church. Time to make a wish. I wish for a hundred K subscribers. A little model of the minster. The columns look really big. We can go right here where this is. Yeah, the organ. No, that's what I mean. There's the toilets. These was messages to the Ukrainian people. Look how that's been carved out the rock. Now we walk to the chapter house. Look at the ceiling. There's loads of little heads carved out.
please press the thumbs up button, everybody. Now let's have a look at the rest of the building. There's loads of creepy tunes what people are buried in. McDonald's after this. Are you hungry? Sanitizing my hands. Look how big that window is.
Vamos a ver en la catedral. It's time to go up the tower in a minute. He gave a little brie fin first. It's about 61 centimeters to give you some idea of the dimensions. If you could have your tower tickets ready, so not your general edition tower tickets, and on your phones, we have to print it out. It'll make it all a bit quicker when we come to you. You guys follow me whenever you're ready. <laughs> Lovely. And can I ask how old you are? Eight. Sorry? Eight. Eight. Great. Thank you very much. Let's head up through the door there. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. I had to say I was a. Now I had to climb 275 steps. Covered with graffiti. I should have wrote my name on the wall. Logan 2022. Oh, halfway this is where we are from the street We had to go to the top of here. I wouldn't like to climb that ladder. Now let's finish climbing the steps. Look how narrow this bit is. 
The steps are marked every 25 steps. 125. Amazing viewers. It's the highest point in York. You can see for miles. It's so high. Me and my daddy. It is so cool. You like it? Yeah. Is it fun? Yeah. He takes me everywhere. Because it's a very old camera. The camera that we use is the tiny one on top of it. But um, <laughs> they need to uh, fix the, the lead. So it's 
So when they take it all down, they need to put a new piece on that roof, so that's why they haven't done it. How old is it, the camera? I was going to say, the one underneath must be from the 80s. <laughs> <something>. Yeah. <laughs> A good question. <laughs> it's so it's more so we can uh, look at the weather and things. They were like snowy. The days. camera in the middle was really, really big. Can I have a bunch? Oh, they sell them right down at the bottom. Sorry, they used to sell them up here, but it, do you remember where you came up? And there was a big wooden desk, they had them there. So they'll sort you out. Sorry about that. <laughs> Time to go back down the steps. We are back at the halfway bit. That's where we are from the street again. You like it? Yeah. Let me get in front. Why are you in front? So if you fall, you don't fall all the way down. What about if you fall? That's alright. My dad went first now, so I couldn't slip. I think it took longer to go down than to go up. Finally at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. It takes longer to go up like a to go down. Oh. You can buy the bench in the counter. Oh, okay. I'm going to get one. Where's the badge? I went to get a badge. A badge. This is the badge I got. 
What's downstairs? Downstairs is the Undercroft Museum and the Treasury. So uh, there's lots of interesting stuff about the Minster there. That you can yeah, we'll have a look down there after this then. Yeah. You can do that. Thank you. You're welcome. Now we went into the basement. There was things for me to play with. That's red. Why? Why? Look at this old wall. This is how the Romans decorated. A video about the minster. I played this game for a bit. Yeah, I'll try again. Look, it's hello. Oh, come on. It says the Minster has its own police force.
A really old book. Logan and his dog. I did some colouring. There was another part of the basement and we couldn't figure out how to get to it. We went out the basement and asked somebody. How do we get to the other side of there? Like another, went downstairs and like a bit boarded off. Oh yes, the crypt. Uh, it should be open now as far as I know. Um, so how, how do you get in? I'll just, make, I'll just double check this open for you. Okay. He showed us where it was. Just done. Okay, well, thank you so okay, much. Thank you. It's a separate part, but it looks like you can get there from the other side. Lots of pennies down there. I think a lot of people get confused, don't they? People think you just have to go around a couple of bends and yeah. not have to go upstairs and yeah, come no, but Yeah, unfortunately it's just a uh, fire exit and <laughs> wheelchair access. So, yeah. Okay, cheers. Look, that's where I had the crown on. That's a really good mosaic. Mm. 
I lit another candle and made a wish. I hope it comes true. I asked the man some questions. The crypt? The crypt holds lots of dead people, including St. William over there in the sarcophagus. So he's a, a saint, he did many miracles, um, a bit like Jesus did and uh, they preserved him in that sarcophagus because they believe his body has healing properties so people would go and touch his uh, tomb or his remains and they would uh, be healed by uh, of the illnesses that they may have had for years and it seems another miracle but yeah so that people we kept uh, dead people down here well can you touch the tomb yeah yeah so right. yeah yeah his tomb is just over there well you can talk to him yeah um no it's roped off you can touch it now but it is roped off where um, where is it this is us too. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, he's a big St. York. He did a few miracles, but, um, yeah, he did, uh, did a few miracles, including saving like, the lives of people who left. Um, telling some of the rooms, they were like, he was returning, and uh, the crowds were excited, and they were, there were so many people gathered on the bridge, the bridge collapsed. And everyone fell into the water, but everyone miraculously survived because he managed to push a wave of water and kick them onto the banks. Jesus. Uh, no, it's not Jesus, that is St. William that did that. Mm -hmm. Jesus. No, I don't. Everyone, I think, believe that he's buried in Jerusalem. He's buried, he's buried in Jerusalem. What, are you quite religious, though? Um, no, just, I'm not religious at all. Um, just knowledge. It's yeah. just part of the job. You need to know what's going on. Um, because, like you asking here, uh, I can't just. It's not easy, it's a bit bad if I could just say I don't know. I can't cool. see him. Why can't you see him? Uh, because his remains of, um, well, maybe, I guess for religious reasons, you don't disturb a grave once someone's been very ill. Has it never been opened? It got damaged, um, I can't remember when. It did get damaged and they did check to see whether his remains are intact and how they're doing. They were, he's perfectly preserved in there. So uh, his uh, head and his arm are... I believe his head and one of his arms are not in there. They chop them off um, so people could touch them and for healing properties. So they didn't have to constantly open, because you don't want to open the tomb constantly. That would be certainly not good for preservation. So, oh, so his head's not in there? No, his head's not in there. Where's that? Uh, I believe at the moment it's somewhere in Dean's Palace or something like that. I, I, don't quote me on that, but I believe it's not. Yeah. Where's that? Uh, that's just like across the road, but you can't go in there, that's not for public access. Oh, it's, where the, it's where the Dean lives, um, but we have just had a new Dean appointed, so he won't be at, in there at the moment. But, old? Yeah. Uh, when did he die? This guy died in the uh, 1154, so he's been in there nearly 900 years. Wow. His head's chopped off. His head is chopped off, yeah, um, because they wanted it, and they have had their meetings, I believe, so you could just like, when people were, the clergy were sat around, his skull would be on display. Because it's quite an honour to have like a saint buried in a cathedral. Well, people Where used to touch that and it used to give them healing properties. Yeah, yeah, you could, people come to this pilgrimage and they come and touch it. You know? Where's his head? His head is in Dean's uh, Palace, which is another building, which is public kind of access. And I've not seen his head either, so... <laughs> Even though I can't see it. Not that I would think I'd want to see a dead man's skull. It'd be a bit creepy. <laughs> Alright, mate, thank you. You're welcome. See you later. My daddy touched the tomb to see if it makes him feel better.
Så jeg gerne. Hey, hey. How we died is uh, he got poisoned. What, did you ask how he died? Yeah. Did you? <laughs> I went back and asked him how he died. It's nearly time to go. I hope you enjoyed my tour. This is the gift shop. I never got anything, but I wish I got a magnet now. I really enjoyed that. It was a good experience. If you ever come to York, you should definitely come to the Minster. of the video. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button.